Good morning everyone. I am JR Sanko from BSED 1E. So I am here today to discuss my topic about the population contrast of Asia, North America, and South America. So before I start, I would like to say good morning to our professor, Ma'am Abimala Muscoso. So my topic for today is the population contrast. Here we go. Okay, population is the number of organisms of the same species that lives in the particular geographic area at the same time with the capability of interbreeding. So, interbreeding it occurs, individuals must, must be able to meet with any other member of the populations and produce fertile offspring. So, the another term of population is community, population, culture, public society, and state. So these are the another term of population. What are the primary sources of population data in the population size? So here are the following primary sources. First is census. Next is projection, third is the registration, the fourth is the migration report, and the last is survey. And these are the primary sources in the population. Okay. So from now on, let's proceed for the subregion in Asia. Subregion in Asia has five Asia. First of that is South. Southern Asia, which consists of 1 billion and 40 million, where 69,612. Then next is Eastern Asia, which consists of 1 billion 678 million 89,619 uh, population in Eastern Asia. The next one is Southeastern Asia, 668 million 619,840 of uh, population. The fourth is Western Asia, which consists of 279,636,754 of population. Then lastly is the Central Asia, which consists of 74 million population. So these are the five subregions in Asia that we can find in the map of Asia. Here are the top 10 countries who belong to the most populous country. The first is China has 1.37 billion, next India 1.299 billion, next is Indonesia 255.46 million, Pakistan is 191.78 million, next is Bangladesh 158.76 million, Japan is 126.89 million, and next is our country which is Philippines which have 102.96 million. Next is Vietnam which have 91.81 million. Next is Iran 78.77 million. And lastly is Turkey 78.21 million. So now let's proceed to the demographic profile of Asia. As we can see here is the pyramid about the age of male and female. So there is differences between their age and this image represent or show the percent of those people who come up at that age. Okay, so now let's proceed for the North America. North America is a subcontinent of the Americas and is bordered by the Arctic Ocean to the north, the Atlantic Ocean to the east, the Pacific Ocean to the south and west, and South America and the Caribbean Sea to the southeast. The North America is the third largest continent in terms of area after Asia and Africa, and the fourth in terms of population after Asia, Africa, and Europe. North America was reached by its first human population during the last glacial period via crossing the Bering Land Bridge approximately 40,000 to 17,000 years ago. The so-called paleo indian period is taken to have lasted until about 10 years ago or which the beginning of the Archaic or meso indian period. There are 23 countries and many territories in North America. The primary language in North America is an English, 
followed by Spanish and French. North America encompasses a three area which is the Northern America, the Caribbean, and the Central America. So, let's proceed for the top 10 most populous countries in North America. These are United States, which consists of 321.2 million, Mexico, 121 million, then Canada, 35.8 million, Guatemala, 16.1 million, Cuba, 11.2 million, and next is Haiti, 10.9 million, Dominican Republic, 9.9 million, Honduras, 8.9 million, Nicaragua, 6.5 million, and last, El Salvador, 6.4 million. So this time here is the demographic profile of Northern America. It is the image for men and female until what age they come up. So there is differences and similarities of their percentage when it comes for aging. That is all about the in the North America. So now let's proceed for the South America that Nicolas Cabreas will be reporting. So, our chosen topic is all about uh, population contrast in Asia, North America, and uh, South America, together with my uh, partner, J.R. Samko. So, I have to report all about the South America, the population contrast in South America. Okay, to start with, uh, let me tell you all about the information in South America. The current population of South America is 433,115,266 as the latest United Nations estimate. South America population is equivalent to 5.53% of the total world population. South America ranks number one in Latin America and Caribbean among sub-regions ranked by population. The total land area is 17,461,112 km squared, 6,741,770 square miles. 85.5% of the total is uh, total population is urban, 368,408,682 uh, people in 2019. The median age in South America is 32.1 years old. The South America population counter shows a continuously updated uh, estimate of the current population of South America delivered by a World Dometer's RTS algorithm, which processes data collected from the United Nations population division. Okay, we have here the countries involved in uh, uh, within the South America uh, with the uh, population, total population. This year, uh, uh, last year 2020. So, uh, the Brazil has the 212,559,417. Colombia, which has 50,882,000. 891. Argentina, 45,195,774. Peru, uh, 32,971,854. And we have the Venezuela, 28,435,940. The Chile, which has uh, 19,116,201. Uh, Ecuador, 17,643,054. Bolivia, 11,673,021. Paraguay, is at the 7,132,530. The Uruguay, 3,473,730. Guyana, 786. 1,552 Suriname 586,632 The French Guiana 
298,682. And we have the Falkland Island, which are 3,480. So, uh, Brazil has the largest population with 170 million inhabitants. 38% of the total. Okay, other countries with the largest population include Mexico, which is uh, 98 million people, or 20% of the total. We have the uh, Colombia, which 40 million, or 9%, and the Argentina, 37 million, or 8%. These countries are some around uh, some around 75% of the total Latin America population. So I have here the picture of the demographic uh, population of uh, South America. Okay. So here you can see it. So that is all about the uh, population contrast in uh, South America. Why did the South and North America split? Geologically, the two became connected by land, but officially there are two separate continents because the two large regions are connected by such narrow on the map. Strip of land, but officially plus geographically, North America and South America became once again divided by water once the Panama Canal was dug out. How does it affect the populations of a country? The effect of population growth can be positive or negative depending on the circumstances. A large population has the potential to be great for economic development but limited resources and the larger population puts pressures on the resources that do exist. Different countries have different natural resources. So these are the five negative effects of population. Adverse effect on environment, rapid population growth creates food problem, population and vicious circle in poverty, large population creates the problem of unemployment, rapid population declines social infrastructure. That is the five negative effects of population. What is the importance of population? The population is one of the important factors which helps to balance the environment. The population should in a balance with the means and resources. If the population will be balanced, then all the needs and demand of the people can be easily fulfilled, which helps to preserve the environment of the country. So that is all about our report about population contrast in Asia, North America, and South America. So if there is a question, don't hesitate to ask us. Thank you!